Hi, welcome to Canexel Technologies YouTube channel. And in this video, we'll be seeing some of the uh, AI features of DaVinci Resolve and the scene cut detection inside the timeline page of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into the video. So before uh, scene cut detection was available, before importing a clip inside Resolve, but now it is available inside the timeline of Resolve itself, even if you do a cutting and if you want to do only for the small portion, you, you will be able to do it. So here I have a small conversation scene from a game. So let's see how the scene cut detection works. Again, scene cut detection works with the luminance changes of the image. So uh, I'm going to do a scene cut. So it is available in timeline and detect scene cuts. So when you click that, it is going to automatically detect the cuts for you across uh, the clip you have selected or the clips in the timeline. So the seed cut detection is complete right now. You can see the cut information is proper. Each image has a proper cut. And in some cases you can see here, it is the same footage, but it has detected a cut. That is because there is a huge luminance change. And in this case, we are very simple. You can just expand this particular clip so that it is a single clip. And it's very easy to uh, control that as well. So the next step uh, feature we are going to see uh, over here here uh, so the next uh, feature that we are going to see over here is the reframing feature let's say this is a, a HD TV resolution and I wanted to export it to uh, Instagram let's say for square output so I'm going to the settings and I'm going to change the output and hit save so I'm going to find the timeline here So I have the so I have the timeline here going to the media pool right click timeline settings and I'm going to change this to let's say 1080 which is a square resolution so uh, here you have four different options you want to put this as scale full frame with crop uh, which will bring back the resolution to square and it will have the full screen and uh, I mean you it will have the full screen without any crop so now uh, you can see the footage, uh, let's say this, this one is fine. Let's say you wanted to reframe the shot, you can just click the shot and you have an auto reframe button here. Just hit reframe and it is going to analyze and reframe the shot for you. So this is very easy and very simple. And if you know this is, uh, this is a movable, I mean it tracks that particular face. Let's say we can rephrase, re reframe the shot. I'm just clicking the shot, then hitting reframe inside the inspector. So it will analyze and here it is. So you get the exact output. I mean, sorry, you get the exact framing. You can see the frame is also moving. You can see the text here, which is tracking this guy's face. So that's how uh, automatic and how efficient it is. Let's say in this, uh, in this particular shot, in this case, uh, there is a girl in the behind, sorry guys. There is a girl in the behind who is talking. So we need uh, that particular girl's frame. So what we can do is you can go for a reference point and you can click this, you get a small box. So where you can reference to this particular girl considering she is there and then hit reframe. So it will automatically take your reference point and construct the positioning and zooming keys according to it. So you can see this, it's first in the normal position and then after you have referenced it, I mean you have referenced it and it will automatically move to that uh, particular reference point you have kept it. So it is basically acting towards your reference but uh, when it is needed. So again uh, the same shot of this particular frame and you have to do a reference. You can just click. So you need to select the reference. Let's say I am not selecting any reference and just going to hit auto. So it will keep the main guy's face here. So we don't want that. We want a girl which is talking in the background. So reference point, you can keep the reference and hit reframe. 
so it will uh, reveal the so sorry uh, we need to reset this first and then keep the reference point and just hit reframe and it should automatically work so so that you get the so you get the proper uh, selection port so you get the proper uh, smart reframe feature so that's it guys and you can so uh, you can also see the position over here it is changing over here and, and it has put an automatic keyframe so this reframing is not a, like an uh, you cannot control and stuff like that so it is doing a, a actual keyframing that you can see these things so you can move between different key points and if you want to adjust certain things you can adjust and it will do a small animation for you so that's it guys about the sync detection and a smart reframe so see you in another video thanks